Hi everyone, I'm Gabriele Di Piazza. I am the Vice President for Products and Alliances at uh, Blue Planet, uh, Division of Siena. If you look at, think of, talk about the definition of NAS or network as a service, first of all, there are multiple aspects or networks out there, right? As I mentioned before, you think of wide area network, you think of uh, cloud networking services, you can think of campus networks or private networks, uh, mobile networks and 5G networks as well. Each one of these uh, uh, environments or segments is somehow evolving in having a NAS exposure model. Um, as I mentioned, the way we think about it as a Blue Planet is um, thinking of this as the core building blocks. I would say the three core aspects. One would be a intent-based declarative uh, orchestration that allows to expose uh, uh, the NAS services a dynamic inventory capability which allows you to have an accurate view of all the assets across your network and allows you to reconcile this across the different services. And then the third aspect is of course the AI driven operations and assurance which allows to uh, ensure service quality <clears throat> and, and deliver the reliability uh, across the, uh, you know, the different systems. We see a growth interest by carriers in NAS services. I think they are uh, you know, pursuing more and more uh, NAS opportunities and implementation because it allows them to move to the next generation of the services. Uh, uh, quick delivery, on-demand uh, capabilities, moving to a consumption-based model. Um, basically also, uh, they will be able to upsell additional services. And, uh, overall, move to a, a cloud-based model of delivery, uh, which is something which is lacking in the telecoms industry for you know quite some time. And so we do see um, rising interest in in NAS uh, in general across the different network segments. Uh, okay, let me talk about the API aspect of NAS. I think NAS could not exist without an API-first approach. Uh, the whole concept of NAS is a network as a service means that you need to model and decompose many of the services uh, uh, across a fairly complex set of um, functions and operations, which means that we've seen you know, many industry organizations from MEF, uh, TMF, uh, uh, you know, Linux foundations and other actually leveraging a set of prescriptive APIs. Uh, today, uh, any NAS implementation crosses multiple vendors uh, which means that the only way to have a composable uh, set of services is to basically be API driven. And that's one of the core principles, of course, that we follow at Blue Planet as well. Interoperability has been a, I think, core uh, um, you know, aspect of telecom networks in general. Um, I think the infusion of other aspects such as cloud, computing uh, has actually introduced uh, other dynamics as well. So I think uh, what I've seen actually in the last year, I would say, uh, maybe 18 months, has been a different industry organizations such as MEF getting much closer with uh, uh, TMF as an example. Uh, and there are many other areas that are related to this. Uh, you know, Camara is one example. Um, uh, but many others as well. So I think there is a collective interest in uh, collaborative on APIs that can actually help uh, instantiate and provision a service end-to-end. -end. <clears throat> you know, we keep uh, sometimes talk about the uh, uh, north to south interfaces, but also the east to west interfaces. So I think the industry is getting together to work across these different dimensions. So Blue Planet provides <clears throat> intelligent automation solution in the telecom market. I think there's no NAS implementation without automation. Automation is a critical aspect of any NAS offerings, whether are in fixed networks all the way to wireless networks, and therefore the ability to provide declarative intent-driven orchestration, adaptive uh, uh, inventory, and dynamic inventory, uh, all the way to AI-powered assurance services makes us special and combining those offerings in a common NAS blueprint is actually our uh, key strategy in the market.